Hi, I'm Emily with Lake Light, and today I'll be showing installation of the solar regulatory buoy. There are a few items you'll need that are sold separately. You'll need a half of a cinder block. This will be used as the ballast weight or something of equivalent weight. You will also need a full cinder block. This will be our anchor weight. You'll need a chain link, which is rated for 150 pounds or more. And you'll need about four quick links to connect everything together. First, you'll want to take the solar top and remove the battery cover. You'll notice inside the battery is not connected. You'll carefully align the notches, press it together, and then screw it tight. Then you'll tuck the battery back inside, placing it at an angle and tucking the wire. You'll have a silicone pad, which you'll align first. Just make sure that it's waterproof. Align the top and then you'll screw it back together. You'll want to make sure when putting the screws back in that you go in the reverse direction first until you hear a click. And then carefully start to screw each one, one at a time before you tighten them. Then you'll use the wrench provided to securely tighten each screw. Now the solar top is ready to mount to the buoy. You'll use the screws provided and you'll want to place each one and slowly tighten them once you have them all in place. Use the wrench provided and slowly work your way around, tightening each one a little bit at a time until the top is securely tightened to the buoy. Now let's mount the ballast pole to the buoy. You'll notice on the bottom there are four screw holes. You'll align the ballast pole to the holes. And you'll carefully take each screw and washer provided and align them with the holes. And then tighten them together. Then use a wrench or socket set to securely tighten them to the buoy. Take a look at our ballast pole. You'll notice there are two different places where you can connect the chain. First, you'll take the half cinder block or equivalent in weight. This is our ballast weight. You'll connect it to the end of the pole using a shorter piece of chain and a quick link. So connect it around and use the quick link to connect the chain. The other cinder block, the full one, is our anchor weight. This will be connected to the top part of the ballast pole. At this point, you will need to know the water depth where you are installing the buoy. In our case, the water depth is 10 feet, so our chain is cut to 12 feet to allow for fluctuation in the water depth. You'll take one end of the chain and connect it to the drift ring using a quick link. Tighten it together. You'll use the full cinder block or something of equivalent in weight. You'll connect the second end of the chain around the center of the block and secure it with a quick link. Now that our ballast weight and anchor weight are connected, we're ready to install the buoy in the lake. When placing the buoy in the water, we recommend that you wear a life jacket for your safety and also organize the chains 
so that your hands and feet are clear of them when placing it in the water. First, you'll take the ballast cinder block and toss that in with the buoy. Next, you'll take the anchor block and toss that in last. <laughs> you'll notice included in your kit is a magnet. This magnet is to control both the color of the buoy and the brightness setting. The buoy can be changed between three different colors, blue, white, and amber, and also seven different brightness settings. You'll simply swipe the magnet over the solar panel to control both the color and the brightness setting. If you hold it over for five seconds, you'll control the color. If you quickly swipe it, you'll control the brightness setting. But remember, the brighter the light, the shorter the runtime. The dimmer the light, the longer the runtime will be. This completes installation of the solar powered buoy. I'm Emily with Lake Light. Thanks for watching.